online grocery shopping is big business. Last year, us Brits spent just under £13 billion getting our big shop online. With so many orders to get through, retailers are now using AI-inspired automated systems to make sure our shopping is picked, packed and delivered on time. In South East England, one company have built something truly futuristic to meet demand. Wow! This automated facility is run by Ocado and today over 2 million items will be picked for their customers. Here, a 50-item shop can be done in fewer than 10 minutes. Driving this efficiency is powerful artificial intelligence. And CEO of Ocado Technology, James Matthews, is going to give me an exclusive look at how it all works. We own the equivalent of 35 large supermarkets in this one building. And so we can take lorry loads of foods, touch it just once and put it away in our grid for our robots to sort and store is used in almost every step of the process here but at the very beginning sticky toffee pudding delicious humans are needed to check and unload the deliveries manually before feeding them into the system so the food arrives here ai must have helped it get here already yep so we have machine learning models that work out what our customers are likely to order so we can place the right orders with our suppliers so that it arrives here at the right time right so press tote ready that crate is now sent into the grid bye bye See you on the other side. <laughs> this is where robots and AI work together on an immense scale on what looks like a gigantic 3D chessboard. So here we are, the grid. This must be like the most impressive part of the whole process. How many robots have you got working here? Uh, we've got about 2,000 robots a day. When an online grocery order is placed, the AI brain knows exactly where each crate containing a particular item is inside the grid. It'll then assign a robot to go and fetch a crate and deliver it to a picking station so the item can be packed for you. How do the bots get hold of something if it's quite far down? Our fastest selling lines are at the top, so the bots get to them directly. But if we need to get to a slower moving line, then the bots essentially work together as a team and dig their way down the stack to get to the slower moving food and then take it over to the customer to be picked and packed. Each robot can travel up to nine miles an hour, and each day the whole fleet travels a distance equal to four and a half times around the planet. It's an impressive operation, but one that still needs a human eye to check it's all running smoothly. So what's going on here then? This sort of looks like some kind of control hub. So this is our engineering control centre. Actually, the control of the robots is performed by artificial intelligence running in the cloud. Each bot is communicating with that AI 10 times a second, reporting its position. And every bot is recording all of its data about all of its movements. So we can actually prepare maintenance ahead of time for the bots. And that's what happens here in the control centre. So what happens? Do they sometimes like topple over or get lost? Generally, they don't topple over. But every now and again, a part will wear out, a bot will need to come to a halt. We'll often leave that bot out there for a portion of the day and at some point we'll go out and rescue it and schedule that from here. While the robots here are busy finding the correct crates, over at the picking station, another set of robots are mechanically loading shopping bags into the delivery containers ready for picking. This is the final process of bringing your shopping order together and it's a job that is done predominantly by humans. So this is our pick station. Our artificial intelligence will choreograph bringing the customer's orders that we're picking and the right stock to go in the right time in the right place. And if you'd like to go over to the screen, you can see it's telling you to pick a jar, which you can pick from the side here. And then we scan it in front of there. And you see it's telling us to put it in this in the middle bag. Yes, the AI even tells you how to pack the food correctly. Once you've done the pick, you can hit the green button. And as you can see here, by the time you put that away, there's the a new product item that's here. come. Exactly. So this is the one to one Otabix. Yep, and that is going in the right hand tote. Middle. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so the algorithm's working out, firstly, whose shopping belongs to who. Yeah. Secondly, which heavier items should be in certain bags. That's right. So you're not bruising things. Yeah, we don't want to put the, the tins in with the soft fruit, for example. Once the item has been picked, the crate is sent back into the grid until it's needed for another order. So I place an order that should be turning up at my house at 3pm. Could we be scanning it now? It's quite possible. You might be here picking your own lunch. They've even developed a robot that can work next to us humans and help pick the shopping. This is one of the same stations that you were picking at. But here, of course, we've got a robot that's doing the picking and packing. So how does it know, like, how to put it into the bag? 
So this, this robot system with this vision system is incredibly clever. It has no prior knowledge of what the products are. It has a camera on it, and it uses a big machine learning model to look at the product, work out the dimensions, work out how to pick it up, and then how to put it in the bag. Right, and th this robot is picking real customer orders, so the food we're seeing packed here will go out and be, be in someone's home this afternoon. For the moment, this robot can't pick up delicate or perishable items, but who knows what the future holds. Now all that's left is to get your shopping delivered. It, it's sitting there ready to go, and there's, of course, a lot of technology involved in our home delivery system as well. Yes, AI has a part to play in this process too, working out the most accurate and efficient delivery routes based on time of day, road works, and even fuel consumption. What happens if someone changes their order? Well, when someone changes their order, we have to replan the whole network, and our artificial intelligence will take that new order information and work out, once again, what the best, most efficient way of getting it to customers is. And we'll do millions of those calculations every second. The AI future has been promised to us for years, but now it feels like it's really here. And for us consumers, it means things will be quicker, cheaper, and we'll get our sticky toffee puddings exactly when we want them. Thank you so much.